Thanks for being here. A Jefferson County family without a home tonight after a fire burned it to the ground. It happened early this morning. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Devin Clark spoke with a volunteer firefighter who helped put the flames out. Devin? Well, Jen, Marty, if it weren't for the concrete steps in the front yard, you wouldn't know that that burnt pile of debris ever was a house. Literally nothing left. But the firefighter I spoke to this morning said that if it weren't for smoke detectors, things could have been a whole lot worse. Before 2 o'clock Monday morning, Falls Creek volunteer firefighters say these charred remains on Sandstone Road were a two-story home. We're told a couple and their two young children who lived here moved in just four years ago. But this morning, they stood outside as it went up in flames. It was just a big glow in the sky. It, it, was, it was fully involved. There, there was no part of the house that you could possibly save. No one was hurt. And Falls Creek First Assistant Fire Chief Wes Burkett says it's because the family had smoke detectors in the home. The homeowner said that uh, his wife woke up, heard a noise. Uh, his hus her husband got up to check to see what it was and said that was a smoke detector going off. Investigators believe the fire started in the garage. You can barely make out the two vehicles left behind. As for what caused it? Still kind of undetermined at this time. Uh, we have a few points that we're looking into, but uh, nothing definite right now. What is certain, Burkett says, is that a smoke detector is something everyone should own. In this case, it may have prevented a tragedy from turning into casualties. Walmart sells them every day. They're only a few dollars apiece. Again, the cause of the fire is still under investigation, but investigators told me that they don't think that it's suspicious. As for the victims, I'm told they're staying with family. Reporting live, Devin Clark, 6 News. Devin, thanks. Stay with 6 News and WJCTV.com for the very latest on this fire.